my channel welcome to my channel if this is your first time my name is Aisha and this is my first video of 2020 I'm really really excited to get back into the group of things um haven't recorded a video or posted a video since 2018 did not post any video in 2019 but we're back <laughs> and this is the last time I'm saying okay let me not say that but we're back let's just say that um I'm really excited to get back into YouTube this year and today I'm going to be doing like a chit chat get ready with me and also a mini vlog because I'm going to an event afterwards. I'm getting ready for an event. So I just thought I should record the getting ready process as opposed to just a, a vlog. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. <sighs> so where do we even start? How's everybody's 2020 going so far? I'm so excited. I feel like 2020, it being like the beginning of a new decade is just really hmm, what's the word it makes you want to change it makes you want to make a change or make a difference in your life my light's gone but it's okay we move you know and that's another thing so with 2020 i feel like this whole that that phrase we move is really like my mantra or part of it because when you go with that mindset that even though stuff's going on right now and life is a bit crazy or things aren't going as i planned it's okay, because life goes on. We're still gonna keep moving, we're still gonna keep going, we're still gonna keep, you know, actively pursuing our dreams, and yeah, it just gets you through a lot of stuff, to be honest. Anyways, 2019 was a really, really crazy rough year, man. I don't even wanna get into it, because honestly, when I start to think about it and talk about it, I get super, super emotional. I feel like the, my past, like, I'd say like four, four years have been really, really like difficult in just the sense that like i felt like nothing was going my way and like none of my plans none of my plans were like happening and it was really really difficult man i know we all go through stuff like that but bro it's just, it just felt like back to 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 back like dang can a sister catch a break can i have a moment can i have a minute like relax can i have a win and that's not to say that good things didn't happen during that time i just felt like it wasn't what i asked to happen it wasn't what i was asking for i wasn't get i wasn't hitting the milestones that i set for myself and i mean other things were happening but it wasn't what i wanted to happen so I was still discouraged. I mean, I would still be grateful for whatever it is that I got blessed with at the time. But like, I would still have it in the back of my mind, like, dang, like this is, I had one thing that I really wanted this year and that didn't happen. Let me zoom you guys in. Anyways, I wanna talk about negative stuff though. I wanna talk about positive stuff because that's kind of like my mindset for 2020. Alhamdulillah, I feel like my 2020 has started off really, I mean, all I can say is Alhamdulillah. I'm very, very happy, very, very grateful for the things that have been given to me and that I've been blessed with because they're just things that I prayed for and like they're happening. Um, and it just makes me really excited for like the rest of this year and the rest of this decade. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I'm going to an event with Palmer's today, actually. That's I'm going to a brunch, a Valentine's Day brunch with them. Um, and I'm really excited about that, honestly, because it gave me something to record. Like, I've wanted to record all week because I was like, 2020, we're getting back to YouTube. We're going to start this whole thing again. And I haven't recorded anything. I've recorded stuff, but I just haven't posted anything because I wanted, like, the video I came back with to make sense. Do you get it? Like, I couldn't just post anything. It had to make sense. So here we are. <laughs> But I would love to know what you guys want to see out of me on this channel, you know? Anyways, this video, I'm just like getting ready. I'm not really walking you guys through what I'm doing. If you guys would like to know the products that I'm using and stuff like that, I'll leave it in the description box down below. This is not a makeup tutorial or anything like that. But you know, this is a Galentine's Day event, so I'm not necessarily gonna have like <laughs> pinks and stuff like that, no. But it is very like date night appropriate. So, you know, if you like what you see, come follow these steps. 
honestly speaking the past like every time i do my makeup i usually don't even do my brows but because of the kind of look i'm going for today i'm just like let me just go ahead and do my brows get it out the way anyways what i actually want to talk about in this video today like what do i want to talk about what do I, there's just so much to talk about so like what do i want to talk about um this year i told myself that i'm going to take youtube more seriously and i'm going to actually give myself like a fair shot because it's something that I've always wanted to do. I've, I mean, if you go on my channel, you can see I have videos dating back to like 2015. So I just, it's like, I always wanted to have everything together before I did it. And I'm like, you're never just gonna have everything together. That's like, the, that's the reality of it. You're never just gonna have everything together. So you might as well should just do it. But now I do have a camera that I know how to use last time. Last time I did use a camera to record, I was using, what's it called? The, a Canon T4, 5 or something like that. And I would use like my phone. I mean, yeah, my phone to edit it. And I didn't have like the right lighting and stuff like that. And I just was not satisfied with the quality of my content. So it didn't make me confident in what I was putting out, you know? And if I'm gonna put something out, I wanna be confident in it. I want to feel like, okay, yes, I put my best foot forward. Not just putting stuff out just to put stuff out. Like, that's really not me. And it's like, that's bad. Because at the end of the day, you know, you're not always going to have a per. You're not going to always have it put together. So that's why I was like, you know, whatever it is, at this point, I'm just going to continue to grow as I am. And see where that takes me. But anyways, I'm really, really excited. Like, I'm honestly really excited to start doing YouTube. I have so many video ideas for you guys like to put out. And I can't wait to start on that. January felt so long. It felt like, like, like one week felt like a month because so much was going on. Like, you had the Australia wildfire. You had... Kobe passing away and Gianni and you know the rest of those people rest in peace to them um it was just a lot like what else happened Trump getting impeached and not impeached I'm pretty sure that was also this year a lot um but it's as well shall we move we move so the makeup look that I'm trying to go for it today is this one right here can you see that come on now camera focus yes that makeup look right there we're gonna attempt to put Kim's face on my face because that look was just really, really gorgeous. And we'll see where we get to. I'm looking over here because I need to see in the mirror. That camera is not gonna do it for me. Anyways, guys, I'm so excited about the content that I plan on coming out with because honestly speaking, I've always wanted to do like fashion videos. Like my channel, I want it to be like a lifestyle channel, but also like everything that's in my lifestyle. So everything that I love is fashion, makeup. What else? <laughs> Fashion, makeup, lifestyle, stuff like that. So like, I wanna put out vlogs. I wanna put out, um, what else do I wanna put out? I wanna put out vlogs. I wanna put out fashion hauls. I wanna put out, get ready with me. It's just things of that nature. Cause I really do enjoy watching that kind of content. And also just like putting together outfits of my own. So I feel like that's something that I would really enjoy doing. But guys, honestly speaking, I don't know if you guys have read, um, what's it called? Rich Dad, Poor Dad. But that book is a really, really good book. It helps you understand certain things about wealth and good fortune and just manifestation. That's not the only book. I'm forgetting the other name of the book. But if you guys get the chance, I want you to go check it out because it will benefit you a lot. It, everything that happens everything that you do everything that you set your mind to that you want to do it all starts from the mind if you've already told yourself that you're gonna do it and you don't allow negative thoughts to creep in 
you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it, man. Like, you're gonna do it. Oh, that's not the color I wanted to go on with. That's okay. You're gonna do it. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, it all starts from the mind. And it's like, the mind is so powerful. And people don't understand that. The mind is, like, really, really powerful. But, bro. Law of attraction. All that. I think everybody should become knowledgeable on that kind of stuff. Because, honestly speaking, it is the key to, like, everything it is the key once you understand that you are in control of what you bring into your life and you are basically the driver of your life like i feel like all those years when bad things were happening to me it was me it's because i was deflecting like i wasn't taking responsibility for what was happening to me and i was finding like i was blaming other things and when you take responsibility for the things that are happening in your life it puts you back into control and you're able to you know navigate like if you act like you know if you behave as though things are just gonna happen to you then things will just happen to you like and you are not gonna be in control and it's whatever negativity that you're putting out into the universe that's gonna come right back to you so you have to put out good energy you have to put out good vibes you have to be actively working to get to where you want to get to and when you're doing that when you're actively doing that you don't have the time to think of things that are going to shit you don't have the time to do that like you really don't all you have the time to do is to get your life together that's it so because all you have the time to do is get your life together that's all you're going to be doing is getting your life together i'm going to finish my eye makeup and then come back to talk a little bit more Anyways, I'm really, really excited. Oh, I didn't put my eyelashes on or anything like that. I just left it because once everything else is on, like my foundation, concealer, everything's looking like it makes sense. That's when I'm going to put the lashes on because I think I'm going to go back in actually and going to like kind of reinforce some other colors as well. I'm really, really excited for what this year has, like for what February has to bring at least because I know that I do have a lot of content that I want to put out. For example, now like this. This is one of the videos that I wanted to put out because I know I've known about this event. And then also, what else? Um, let me sure this is being making sense. My, my, I can't even call her a best friend. She's like a sister to me. We've been friends for about 14 years now. Going strong, not going anywhere. Like that's like my friend for life. You know that kind of thing. Um, she is coming to visit me. She's coming to visit me next week. So I'm gonna like record like, you know, what we do and stuff like that. Last time she came was in 2016. She just, you know, she was, she surprised me. I didn't even know she was coming. This time I know she's coming so I can actually plan stuff for her. And we were not old enough to like go to places, you know? If she wanted that DC nightlife, I'm like, girl, I can't do that for you. But yeah, I'm just gonna go on with my foundation now. <laughs> so. I love this foundation. I swear by it. She's fire. I mean, she just gives me everything that I need and some more. Ooh, this is looking kind of light on me. Whoa. All right. I just picked this color up yesterday because I lost the one that I was using. And I also felt like that one was too dark for me for right now because I have gotten light lighter since winter i mean it's not crazy it's fine it's fine it looks a little interesting but it's it's fine we're gonna rock with it i always like like a light layer of my foundation because honestly speaking i don't like looking cakey i mean nobody likes to look cakey but i especially don't like to look or feel cakey i don't like feeling like there's makeup on my face i hate that like because then i just want to take it off Uh, 
joke. Oh, I like this look already. Like, it's. I'm feeling very cute. The next part of this is to put mousse in my hair and holding spray, and then I'm gonna get dressed. <laughs> I might change this lip to a more nude lip though. I feel like it's too peachy. And a more nude look. Would yeah. Look really good. So I think I'm gonna do that. I do like this, but I think since I already have this peachiness going on on my cheeks, I want something to balance everything up. So. I didn't get to close out yesterday because um, one, I didn't really vlog that much at the event because honestly, there's just so much going on. I couldn't like carry my camera everywhere, but it was a really, really fun event. Um, happy 180 years anniversary to Palmer's. That is like, that's huge. 180 years of constant like operation. That's, that's a big deal. So congratulations to them on that. And also thank you so much to Palmas for inviting your girl out. It was a really fun event. Um, it was a Valentine's Day event. I thought that was so cute and so sweet that they came back to this area to celebrate that. Um, yeah, they also came out with the new line, which I will be inserting a clip of the products in the next, um, well, actually I probably might just put it over here or put it in the next clip. But yeah, the pro they came out with the whole new line and it's a biotin length retention line for natural hair and I actually will be making a video very very soon on the products because as you guys know I am trying to start doing YouTube consistently again now and part of the content that I wanted to create was on my natural hair and my natural hair journey I'm trying to grow my hair to like mid back length so I do want to take you guys along on my natural hair journey um, I cut my hair last May April May May around that time I cut my hair and that was for a completely different reason not necessarily just for hair care but I just cut it because sometimes when you got a whole bunch of stuff going on in your life you just need to just just do something drastic and I felt like cutting my hair for me was that one drastic thing that I had to do because I felt like it was holding on to so much negative energy and I needed to let that go and we were about to start Ramadan and I just needed to I needed a fresh start so that's basically why I cut my hair um, and now it's like to like right here so i'm talking too much about my hair right now um we'll talk more about it and like all that stuff in that video but that is something coming soon anyways 
it was great. I enjoyed myself very, very much at the event. My hair, my outfit, everything was just my makeup. It was just giving and I was happy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I plan to do more and better ones in the future. If you guys have any tips for me, please be nice in the comments, but I will welcome tips because I do want to do better and get better. Any tips, any ideas, any comments, please leave them down below. I really do appreciate them. Um, yeah, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell because your girl is actually not playing. Like, I'm coming for all the videos in 2020. All the content in 2020, just watch. But um, yeah, I'm gonna close out the video here. It was so nice seeing you guys. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.